We are here at Blade Show West and we have a surprise for some knife makers. They think we're coming for a pocket check, but we're really gonna do a sharpness test and see how well they take care of their blades. Let's do this thing. We're here at the Hawk booth. Tyler, what you carrying? Today I got key bar. Okay. My Model B. And shortcut. My Flipper Zero. And of course you have one of those. <laughs> That's it. All right, so you didn't know this, but we're actually doing a sharpness test right now. Perfect. Model B it is. Oh, crap. Does everybody at Hawk have a, does everybody at Hawk have a deadlock? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, Man, I'm jealous. Uh, I gotta go work at Hawk. Hawk. <laughs> okay, there we go. The lower the number, the better. We're gonna see how well you guys take care of your knives. I know you can make a really good one, but can you keep it sharp? <laughs> All right, got the Model B. Let's see how it goes. Dude, have you ever sharpened that? <laughs> 1123. <laughs> we use our knives? Okay. Like... All right. <laughs> Solid. Thanks for sharing, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> We're here with Austin Goats hey. at the NAFS booth. That's used right. to be on Knife Bander. He was one of the originals. That's right. Yeah. Ben and I started Knife Bander way back in the day, and now I'm here with him again back at NAFS. Yeah. yeah. Really pioneered a road, and I'm yeah. more than happy to walk it. Hey, man. I appreciate you keeping it alive. For yeah. sure. Well, hey, yeah. we got to do a pocket check. Though. Oh, what all you got? right. Yeah, let's talk about it. So I got two knives today. I got a lander. This has got our unlocked carbon fiber uh, handles on there. Uh, quick swap technology with the lander. It's also got a cool little carbon fiber backspacer that it just, just snaps out. right out of there. <laughs> we like to call it the world's first um, quick swap backspacer. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've been saying. So um, <laughs> works for me. Yeah, it works for me. It's also got tools in the handle, which is really cool. So you got a little toothpick on one side and tweezers on the other, which is super, super fun. Yeah, some guy was telling us that that makes it classified as a multi-tool at his job, so he's allowed to carry it. That's what I'm going to keep saying. <laughs> I'm going to use that line from now on. And then I also have our Lulu, which is our newest fixed blade. Um, carrying it in a leather sheath that we also offer. This is a Blem knife. You can see it's kind of got a big old scratch on it right there. That's a little bit of the properties of the raw Magna Cut. Um, we don't put any sort of like satin finish, stone wash, anything on it. Just as they get cut and ground, that's the finish we keep. So this was technically a Blem, but kind of a cool, unique look on that one. Well, super cool. Yeah, right well, on. Well, listen, we got a surprise for you. Oh, no You way. didn't know this is a sharpness test. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're going to find out how well you take care of your knives. Okay. The guys at the Hawk booth do a terrible job. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I have a low bar. Yeah, okay. very low bar. It's okay. going to be easy to beat them, I right think. Right on, right on. All right. So which knife do you think is sharper? Um, I think the Lulu's sharper, but I think it's cheating. We should probably test the Lander. All right. Yeah. We got the Lander. Lower scores are better. Yes. Currently 587 is the number to beat. Oh, I'm feeling like a one something. Oh, 208. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Respectable, but, Austin. Yeah, I could be cleaner, though. I, I like to keep my knife sharp. I'm a little disappointed by the number, but I accept. <laughs> All right, well, thanks right for sharing. Absolutely. Take thanks it easy. for Have stopping by, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> you as well. Next up, we're at Jack Wolf with Ben. How are you? Good to see you today. What's in your pocket, Ben? What's in my pocket? Well, believe it or not, I got a slip joint. This is a custom leather slip from Sage Grouse Leather. He uses okay. only the finest leathers and all hand tooling. It's beautiful. Thank you. And inside, we have the Dark Matter Red and DLC Vampire Jack, which is releasing Friday at Blade HQ. Oh, very exciting. So, I mean, it's probably a fairly new one. The surprise here is you didn't know this is a sharpness test too. Oh. So I've seen what a Jack Wolf did to my coworker's finger. So <laughs> let's see what it can do to this. It really proved it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two sixty. Very respectable. Is that good? Is that bad? That's good. You should have right. seen what they did at the Hawk booth. It was not good. <laughs> it's in the thousands. Oh wow. All right. Two sixty. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, right. Ben. Thank you very it's much. It's a sharp knife and a really sharp case. Sheath? Slip. Slip, sheath. <laughs> that it's thing. all good. <laughs> Next up, we're at the Chavez booth with Aaron. How are you? Good. How are you, George? Good. What knife are you carrying? I am carrying one, our new, new knife, the RCK9. Okay. So this was originally designed as a fixed blade, and then Ramon did it uh, as a flipper through Iconic, but now we have the full tie M390 version. Beautiful, so classic this, Chavez this style. This dropped here at uh, Blade Show. Okay. And then my second knife uh, is the Arcade from Flytanium. Of course it is. Yeah. Well, rock on. So we have a surprise for you. 
This is actually a sharpness test. Oh, good. So, which one do you think is sharper? This one. The Chavez? Yep. All right, here we go. Let me grab you some media. Okay, here we go. 213, very good. It's not bad out of the box. Not bad. Second place overall right now. <laughs> Who are we behind? Uh, Austin Goat, Snaps. <sighs> okay. <laughs> But That's very good, Aaron. Thanks for your time. Awesome. Thank you, George. We're here at ProTech with Matt. What you got What's in your up, pocket, George? Matt? <laughs> I got a few things. All right, so we're testing a new PVD finish, the Antique PVD. Oh. So this is a 17-4 stainless chassis on a PT+. Plus. It's a super hard uh, stainless steel. And then coated with that new finish, it's got some like coppery blackish hues to it. And then I have a Mike Erie polished DLC blade, titanium pocket clip. I'll trade you my car for that knife. Well, what do you have in your pocket, man? Uh, I got my Microtech. Ooh, also pretty cool. Amphibian. Nice. Check it out. And you lock on it too? Yeah. Super fidgety. And you then also, it. let's see what else I got. I got a cool pen. That's from Spartan Blades. They're a little titanium pen. Okay. And uh, I think I got, let's see, a little Viking spinner coin. That's cool. <laughs> All right, so we got a surprise for you, Matt. Yes, sir. You didn't know that this is also a sharpness test. Okay. Oh, so yikes. So we're going to see how this goes. All right. How well do you take care of that knife? All right, so we got to start with the excuses. Okay. It's been Blade Show. I've cut a lot of boxes, but it is also a Mike Erie hand-ground blade, so. So let's see. We'll see if it stands up. Let's see right, if Mike will be honors, proud. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mike, if it's bad, it's my fault. It's not just new to this knife, it's new to the brand. It's a brand new clip that we just uh, came out with, so this is our... 183! All That's right. so sharp! Perfect, I'll take it, man. It's the sharpest we've tested yet. <laughs> awesome, man. The dullest was still a deadlock at Hawk. <laughs> well, thanks, Matt. It's a pleasure, man. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, guys. All right, here at Jamin at the Cold Steel booth. How are you? Great, great. Hey, what's in your pocket? We got the new 5 Max. I love the 5 Max. I have a 4 Max Scout and it makes me smile, but that makes me smile extra big. There you go. Extra big, extra <laughs> knife, great S35VN, got the triad lock, ready to go. Uh, we tested this for over 1,200 pounds of downforce and survived. Just keeps on ticking. Keeps on ticking. Well, we got a surprise for you. This is actually a sharpest test. Okay, let's rock. <laughs> 165. That is sharp. <laughs> and it's a big old sharp blade. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Jamin. Appreciate it. And congratulations on a very sharp knife. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good show. You too. All right. I found Mike here at Spider Co. Let's go. What you got in your pocket? I've got Little Temperance 3, K390. Mm. And I've also got just a classic native S30V lightweight. Okay. Yeah. So we have a surprise. Uh -oh. This is a sharpness test. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I haven't been sharpening these because I've been trying to figure out how long it takes for me to wear them out. But we'll see. Yeah, K390 will hold its edge dang near forever. Yeah. So this will be fun. All right. Let's try that one. See how it does. The Lil Temperance. How did it? 258. How long have you been using this? A while. A several, while? Several months. It's got some tape and stuff on yeah. it. Yeah. No, no, no edge sharpening at all. No, that's inc that's yeah. very good retention. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. that's why I love K390. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've just been playing around with it, just okay. putting it through the ringer and seeing what happens. Well, awesome. Very good performance. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Michael. Yeah, anytime. Appreciate it. All right, we're at the TJ Schwartz booth. How are you, TJ? Doing good. How you doing? Doing great. Hey, what's in your pocket? I have the brand new released tactile archer. This is a design I did for him that launched today, actually yesterday, right here at Blade Show West. Mm -hmm. Really excited. Titanium frame lock, magna cut, hard lock insert, fully 3D machine clip. Really excited about this release. It's gorgeous. Hey, thanks. All right. Well, our I, surprise. I got a couple more, too. Oh, keep telling me. I can me. keep going. Yeah. I got my confidant. This is my beater. <laughs> this is my hard use knife. This is one that I made. And then I've got my new collaboration with Lucas Burnley. This is the turn. Another magna cut knife. We make this in house. But yeah, that's what I have in my pockets. All right. Well, we have a surprise sharpness test for you. Okay. See how well you've been taking care of your knives. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's see how it goes. We're going to do this one. <laughs> I won't tell. <laughs> All right. Here, let me set this flat. Really? And... All right. 
TJ Schwartz turn. TJ Schwartz and Lucas yeah, Burnley. Luke, Lucas Burnley design, and we made it. Very nice. Makes a lot of sense. 132. That's the sharpest knife we've seen all day. <laughs> Victory. Uh, you're gonna probably go see like a hundred more that are sharper, but dude, we stopped by that. Hawk. 1100. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, it was their beater knife. They oh, haven't no cleaned in forever. It happens. Yeah. We don't That's normally awesome. let him pull the one off the table because I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, here, you want to try the one that was in my pocket? Sure. Let's yeah, do that a one. Little, a little science here because, <laughs> like I said, that one was brand new. This one's been in my pocket since I launched it a couple months ago. Have you even resharpened that one yet? I had No, this has not been resharpened. Hasn't even been done. This has been okay. used thoroughly. Magna Cut 63, 64 Rockwell. What? It's even sharper, 124. No kidding. <laughs> Man, those super hardened Magna Cuts do not chip at all, no. even on the microscopic yeah. level. We're here with my buddy David at What's Microtech. What's going on, brother? How are you? Nice to see you, George. You as well. Hey, we're doing a pocket check. What you got in your pocket? Right now, I'm rocking this amphibian, partial serrated, DLC, carbon fiber fluted. Yes. The amphibian's nice. awesome. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love that model, too. Yeah. Carbon fiber is, is amazing, but so is the fluted aluminum G10. And the G10. Yeah. Both of these models are fantastic. We sold out all our aluminum G10 earlier, earlier in the show, but these things are just fantastic. And here's a big baller amphibian while we're talking about them. Let's check out this. We've got two here. It's a collaboration between Tony Marfione and Sebastian Brengi of Borka Blades. This Those is are Broken gorgeous. Anvil Knifeworks and Tony Marfion collaboration as well. Got a beautiful Persian grind there. Ooh. Sebastian's famous rock grind. Barked, anodized. They're just beautiful pieces. They really are. They are. So we got a surprise for you. Uh-oh. This is actually a sharpness test. Oh. <laughs> Oh boy. So we're going to see how sharp this Microtech is. Let's do it. How sharp you guys keep them. Oh, they're going to be sharp. I mean, that one nicked me earlier. Yeah. Got the Band-Aid to prove oh, it. Oh, that means that, that's for life, that means. You're, yeah. You're blood bonded. Okay, here we go. 105. Oh, that okay. is one gram, the sharpest knife we've tested. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Very cool. No, 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 no. That's 101 grams from the old second place. That is the new sharpest knife we've tested. Wow. Nice. That's, that's 21 grams better than TJ right, Schwartz. So that's, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to put this one in the safe, not in my pocket then. <laughs> yeah. Very nice, David. Nice Thanks for your you. time. Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> we are at the Lion Steel booth of Andrea. How are you doing? Good to see you. You as well. Hi. What's in your pocket? Sorry, everybody. I'm carrying a prototype we have here. This is the, the skinny. I have it here for as a preview. We have it in production now. Yeah. So magna cut plate, titanium handle, pot carbon inlay. And that's just that's an integral titanium integral, yeah. handle. Man, you guys go it. crazy machining. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while after the last one, so this would be the new one ready for before Christmas. All right. We got a surprise. Yeah. This is actually a sharpness test. We're gonna find out how sharp that knife is. Okay. How well does Andrea take care of these things? <laughs> yeah, you do it. This is the hand ground prototype. A hand ground prototype, so it better be sharp. 243, a very respectable edge. That'll pop air. Yeah. You very like nice edge, Andrea. It's a beautiful knife. Thank you, man. <laughs> you do like All right. it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for visiting. Yeah. We're here with self-defense knives, legend Bastian Coves. What's in your pocket? So in my pocket, I have my collaboration with Microtech, the Brachio. Oh, the serration. Serration one, like the tactical finished. Very nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, and I carry my prototype Gambler. <laughs> Coming very soon. Aspiration of the Derringer uh, design. Wow. Yeah. That looks deadly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a surprise. This is actually a sharpness test. Okay. So we're going to see how sharp this knife is. Please. Now, my friend Patrick Odell told me that he sends you knives to sharpen. Yeah. And that's, that's quite the responsibility. So this thing's probably very sharp. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> 108, Microtech, those edges. <laughs> That's very, very sharp. I'm happy. Yeah, the only sharper knife I've tested was a Microtech over there at 106. Okay. So, 
Yeah, not too bad. Very well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're here at BRS with Bill Boyd. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Doing great. It's good Excellent. to see you. Hey, what's in your pockets? I have a BRS Alpha Beast in my pocket. Oh boy. 154 CM blade steel, titanium handles. It's quite used. I don't know if the camera can pick up how beat this guy is. I've had it for many years and uh, it gets flipped a lot. Yeah, well, if it can't pick it up, our little surprise for you can. We got a okay. sharpness test. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this has been run on concrete today, so I don't know this is going to be very good. Oh, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see this thing. Okay. Oh, you ditched the latch. You're, yeah. you're serious. I try to be. This blade is not going to be serious. I'm not even kidding. I had a guy, like, I told him he's never beat an Alpha Beast, and I told him you can run outside and throw this on concrete, and it'll yeah. spark, right? And that's exactly what they did. 1,051. Dang. For Believe sure. it or not, it is not the dullest knife we've tested today. That's wild. The dullest yeah. knife we tested was a hawk deadlock. There's a, there's a picture on our, or not a picture, a video on our story right now of him taking this knife and literally just running it on concrete. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Hey, thank you. I'm sorry that's not going to be very good footage. We wanted a valley for that very reason. Hey, okay, perfect. Well, there you have it, folks. You've seen the sharpest stuff around, the dullest stuff around, and everything in between. You can find a lot of it at Blade HQ. We'll see you next time.